He that loves not his brother abides in death. If you want to live, prosper, succeed, be victorious, you have to love your brother. Yeah, yo. Welcome back, everybody. It's your man, Fire Jaws, back here on another Bible study, a righteous and rugged Bible study. Um, this is, uh, we're at 1 John chapter 3, verse 7. I decided to go back to verse 6. Listen, before we get started, um, I want y'all to realize that, you know, to like and subscribe this video, to, uh, to hit the notification bell. <clears throat> Even if you want, you can follow me. On in Facebook and Instagram, I'm at Firejaws on both of those platforms. Also, if you like to support me on Patreon, you can. That's uh, Patreon.com. Uh, just search for me, Firejaws. I still haven't worked that out, but that only costs a dollar a month. If you want to donate more, you can. That would be absolutely lovely. Um, but a dollar a month, hopefully that doesn't break the bank. All right, y'all. So let's. Oh, another thing. Uh, the beats that you hear right now, that's my man, Son Cheebs. Uh, he's Sonny Cheebs at Instagram.com, S O N Cheebs. Uh, I'm going to post that below so you can see it and catch it. If you want to uh, email me or contact me, you can at FireJaws at FireJaws.com. That's there too. All righty. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So here we are, 1 John chapter 3, verse 6. I know we stopped at seven last time, but I wanted to go back to six a little bit so we could talk a little something about, um, I got a little something else on this thing. But three verse six said, whoever abides in him sins not. Whosoever sins has not seen him, neither known him. Whosoever lives in him sins not. So, uh, let me, you know what, I'm gonna go on to seven also. It says, little children, let no man deceive you. He that does righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. So the he that he's talking about is Jesus Christ. So if somebody who has seen and know Christ does not sin because they abide in him, right? Then that means that he will do righteousness just like Jesus did righteousness. So the righteousness of Christ, i.e. Christ's life, and we talked about this before, in uh, chap last chapter, chapter 2, verse 6, it says that we ought to live like Christ. Ought means a debt to pay. So the actions and stuff that Jesus did with the laying on of hands, with the, with the, with the praying for people, etc., yada, 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 then we sh that should be us. That should be us. I mean, we should be walking around with a sinless life. So there was not too long ago, it said, um, in fact, this is uh, the 28th of December, 2020. And there was a, 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 man of, a man of God, quote unquote, who just recently passed away. And before that, there was a suit that was brought against this person, right? I guess he's a theologian or whatever. He understands the word very well, right? Supposedly. And he understands Christianity very well. And he was being uh, 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 sued by some women that were, that felt like they were sexually assaulted by him. I don't know if assaulted is the right word, but he definitely was involved in some sexual misconduct. And he, after he passed away, his, his uh, people at his ministry confirmed that. They said it was true. So if it was true, right, and he's walking in sin, it says, whoever abides in him sins not. So that must mean he wasn't abiding in Christ. Whosoever sins has not seen him, neither known him. So let's go to seven. It says, little children, let no man deceive you. He that does righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. You know why we end up getting deceived? Because we see the wonderful works that these guys do. The wonderful things they say, their good speeches, and all of that stuff. But yet their fruit 
says otherwise. And Jesus is so good that if somebody really latches on to him and gets to know him, let's look at the word known. Right? Gnosko. We what we talked about this. This is a learn to know, come to know, get a knowledge of, perceive, feel, to become known. But this one, Jewish idiom for sexual intercourse between a man and a woman, to become acquainted with, to know. So this is somebody that you know, not somebody that you know about. This is somebody that you know very well, intimately so. They're friends of mine, man. I know them very well. I know my wife very well. I know my kids very well. Right? So these talk about knowing Christ like that very well. Like you know your kids. Like you know your friends, your real friends. Like you know your parents. Like you know your spouse. Right? So that close. So if you're that close to Christ, then you're not going to sin. You won't sin. And now you can't be deceived by people who talk a good game, but their actions don't mean it. So stop making excuses for them. Stop it. And make sure, right, by knowing him, just by knowing him, you're to make sure that you're not on this list too. Right? That you don't fall into verse 8. He that commits sin is of the devil. This commit means make. Right? To make with the names. Right? We talked about this last chapter too. To produce. To make a thing out of something. So when you're committing sin, you're making sin. You're not thinking sin. You're thinking sin, and then you commit to do it. Like, you know what? That's a good idea. Let me go ahead and do that. As soon as you commit to that and decide this is something I need to be doing, then that's when you're committing sin. He that commits sin is of the devil. So in the terms of this quote-unquote evangelist or these evangelists, because there's been a lot of this stuff going around now in 2020, then they're of the devil. They're of the devil. Now, this is not talking about somebody who's erring and mistaking as sin is, right? Hamatano, right? Here it is, 266, right? Hamatia, which is pretty much the same thing as Hamatano. In fact, it's exactly the same thing. I guess I would have to learn Greek to find out what the difference is between hamartia and hamartano. But by definition here, it's the same thing, right? So we're not talking about somebody who err or, mis or mistaken, right? Or to miss the mark. We're talking about these guys here, D, E, two, and three. These guys, because these guys are committing sin. These guys could be mistaken. If you're mistaken, you're automatically going to miss the mark. To miss the mark, you could really be trying. Mm. But if you're in Christ and you can't sin, even though you try, you'll be on point. So how do we get in Christ? Let's talk about that just for a second. How we get in Christ is what we're doing now. Reading this word, finding out what it says, and applying it to our lives doing it when you do it you're going to get change you're going to prosper you're going to grow it may take you it's going to take you some time depending on what you're going to do I mean you've been living for X amount of years right we can't expect everything to change overnight this ain't heck even well this ain't Cinderella right all right he that commits sin is of the devil. For the devil sins from the beginning, making sin. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So, if you're living a life of sin, 
If you're living a life of sin, but yet you claim you're in Christ, what you're really saying is, is that Jesus didn't destroy the works of the devil in you. He might destroy the works of the devil. We know that word might probably isn't there. Let's click on that. Io, luo, lio. Is that a lie or I? I don't know. All right. So to loose any person or thing, the bandages of a feet, the loose and undo, dissolve anything bound, tied, or compacted together. To loose one bound, to unbind, release from bonds, and set free. Luo, I guess it's an L. Luo. All right? So that means to undo. So that he undo undoes the works of the devil. There is no might here. He that commits sin is of the devil, for the devil sins from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he destroys the works of the devil. So if we're of the devil and we're committing sin, but yet we're saying we're in Christ, we're saying that Jesus doesn't have the strength to destroy the works of the devil in us. Now, here's the other thing, too. I say in us, right? But really what happens at salvation is that your inside, your old nature, your old man dies. The outside stays intact, obviously. It's the inner man, the old inner man that dies. Don't identify with that. Don't identify with your flesh. Identify with the new man, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. All right? Because it's not in you. If it's in you, we're talking about in you, we're talking about inside of the flesh. The socks, the soft, fleshy part, right? That your spirit lives in and your soul lives in. Whosoever, 1 John 3, 9, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. How many times is John saying this? Now, this is commit sin, right? Which probably is poyeo, right? But there's no poyeo here. It's only one word. This is harmatano. So, whosoever is born of God does not sin. The word commit isn't there. Whosoever is born of God doth not sin. For his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. Cannot. There's two words here. One of probably is can, and the other one is no. I think the no means no, no way, no possible. Let's let's click it. Ooh, particle. This ain't young ma. All right, so no, not, and direct questions, expecting an affirmative answer. So that means no. <sighs> Cannot. Here we go. Boom. Dynamite. Or dunami, dunami. I like this word. This means the capacity, right? To be able to have power by virtue of one's own ability and resources or state of mind through favorable circumstances or by permission of law or custom. To be able to do something. See, that's a better definition. To be capable, strong, and powerful, right? This is the word they get dynamite from. And dynamo means power, right? We, we also equate it to explosive power. Now, he cannot, he has no power to sin because he is born of God. Wow. So when you see jokers who say they're of God and yet they're living a life of sin, they're not in Christ. Because when you're in Christ, you have no power to sin. None. That's what the Bible says. That's why I wanted to come and deal with 1 John. Because 1 John lays some stuff, brass tacks, right down to it. In this, the children of God are manifest. 310. 
and the children of the devil. I am identifying who the children of God are. Let's see children, because they might, they probably might even be sons. Technon, okay. It still works either way. Offspring, children, a male child and a son. But then they say check Technon up here was translated as son before. Let's go up for a second. Uh, sons, G5403, Technon. A male child, a son. Child is produced, child, daughter, son. Offspring, plural, children. All right, so it means son or child or daughter, right? Okay, got you. So let's go here. I was wondering why they use sons here, which I probably won't know, and then they use children here, right? But let's just say in this, the sons of God are manifest and the ch sons of the devil. Whosoever does not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loves not his brother. So if you don't love your brother, then you ain't of God. You're not in Christ. Because those who are in Christ love their brothers. For this is the message that you heard from the beginning. Now this is how I know he's talking about the beginning, the beginning, right? Because right next verse, he mentions Cain. But from this is the message that you heard from the beginning that we should love one another. This is not should love. So we can take that out. This is probably agape. Yeah, agape, right? We talked about that last time. Not as oh okay. For this is the message that you heard from the beginning that we love one another. I like taking these words out because it makes it stronger. It puts the the the, the emphasis back on a word. Should love. And it make it kind of gives us a choice whether we want to or not. My wife, I'ma say it, but my wife ran into somebody from our old church. And we ended up cutting ties with this place because, uh, because of me studying like this, what I'm giving y'all, right? Because of me uh, being able to perform healings and miracles and all that stuff. And pretty much the pastor wasn't doing that. Not no pretty much, he wasn't doing it. And he told the people that we were in a cult when we left, right? So what happened was is that jokers cut us off. They sent me and my wife a certified letter telling them they were telling us that they was done with us. Pretty much. And um and let me just balance it out a little bit. We we not we, not me and my wife. I told them that we were done. We I told them that we were done. And that's a whole nother video. But the fact of the matter is, I'm gonna spit all over the place, excuse me. But the fact of the matter is, is that my wife ran into somebody at the store that they saw, that they didn't, that they saw at the store but that they didn't see for a few years. And then this person, after we've been in fellowship with them for decades, they act like my they act like my wife was just a regular acquaintance and not somebody who really knew them. Who really was, you know, involved, knew Gnosko. Right? Really knew them intimately. At your house, ate at your house, like, you know, spent time together. They even called themselves sisters. They were. But here it is, look. You've been in, you've been in, if you've been in church for 20 years, if you've been in church for five, if you've been in church for three years, claim that your Holy Ghost filled and you don't love one another or your love is conditional, then you ain't in church. 
You ain't in Christ. But she act like, you know, that she was just somebody that, you know, hey, how you doing? Like she didn't speak, she didn't even get off the phone for her. She was on the phone. Ain't even get off the phone for her. Ain't seen her in years. You expect her to be like, hey, how you doing? Hey. None of that. Hey, hey, what's up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Still on the phone. That was wrong. But that we should love one another. That we love one another. If we're in Christ, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one and slew his brother. Now, obviously, she didn't kill my wife, right? And wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. Now, let me tell you something. I'm going to back up to this church situation for a second. Because, and you can see the video. Go to uh, David's Healing playlist in, on the YouTube page. And you'll see playlists, uh, uh, about eight videos of me, right? Praying over people and Joey's getting healed and a couple testimonies, right? The reason why they ain't more because I don't go around videotaping people when I do it. But somebody else was there and they did it. All right. So, the pastor saw this. I didn't get a call. I didn't get a, after I was ordained, I'm ordained by the way. It was twice. Once as a deacon, the second as a minister. And he saw it. And, you know, we had to end up having a falling out because of that. Pretty much. And here it is. Because his own works were evil and mine were righteous. Now, a person that does something like this. Let's just say I'm a doctor in the hospital. And I actually start curing cancer patients. You would think that you would get a promotion, right? Maybe a Nobel Peace Prize, Nobel Prize, or something of that nature, right? You would think that would happen, but instead, it gets fired. What does that tell you? That that hospital really ain't about curing their patients. They're really not about taking care of the problem. So in this case, if that happens in in the church, right, that really just says that that church really isn't about taking care of people's problems. Because if that was the case, if somebody comes in doing the thing that Jesus does, right, and I'm only using this for example purposes, believe you me, I'm not better, right? But they do the things that Jesus does. If they do the things that Jesus does, in a church. Now, I would, I'm not even looking for promotion, but I am looking for multiplication. And this is why I do these Bible studies. Because I want people who are inside these buildings to be able to do what Jesus does. And Jesus wants that. He said, greater things they shall do because I'm not there with them. So it's up to us that do them, right? He also said, uh, what's the scripture? Uh, Those that believe on me, they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover, right? They shall cast out devils, right? So these are things that we do when we believe in Christ. So if we're not doing that, then we're not believing in Christ. And we're not in Christ. I'm not saying that everybody that does it is in Christ, but those who are in Christ, that's what they do. The love is the second part. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. See, let, let's, let's go right here for a second, right? It says, let's go back up here. Uh, wait a minute. All right. 10. In this, the children of God are manifest and the children of the devil. Those who live like Christ lives and those who love their brothers, one another, who love people. 
Right? We all know John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So he died for the entire world. So we love the people in the world. We don't love the world, nor the things in the world. But we love the people that are in the world. Even people that do us wrong. That's why I ain't say no names. And if you're watching this video, I ain't say your name. I could have blew you up, but I didn't. And I know how to market. I could get real nasty with this, but I'm not. I still love you, but I don't mess with y'all no more. Y'all got to get right. All right. So this is, the be this is the message that we heard from the beginning that we should love one another. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. And wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil, and his brothers were righteous. You ever heard the saying that no good deed goes unpunished? Because it is. So, Jesus said, expect persecution. Expect it. Expect it. Expect it. But if you're in Christ, you can't live like this because you'll be outside of Christ. And that's worse. You'll be stagnant, stuck in a place, right? You'll be unfruitful, which is pretty much the same thing, I guess, right? But you'll be unfruitful in all your ways. And this stuff is going to come down around your ears. Especially now in 2020. Nobody understands and nobody notices that the church is literally falling apart. Nobody's going to church. Church is all of a sudden played out. People are leaving in droves. They were doing that before the pandemic. Quote, unquote. Right? Right? A lot of the youth ain't, ain't staying. They're done. And even people my age. Middle-aged people were like, man, we're finished. Why is that happening now? We in the last days. Y'all better have a dose of get right. Now ain't the time to be screwing up. Now is the time to repent. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death Unto life. We know that we have passed. Pretty sure that's passed. P-A-S-S-E-D. Met the bino. Met the bino. To pass over from one place to another to remove and to depart. Wait, wait, wait. I just lost my face. Alright. 314. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brothers. He that loves not his brother abides in death. If you want to live, prosper, succeed, be victorious, you have to love your brother. If you want healing, prosperity, wholeness, Reconciliation. You have to love your brother. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loves not his brother abides in death. When you live in death, things are dead around you. And if you are not born again, you are living in death. That's why all your stuff is jacked up. That's why all your stuff is falling apart. I'm passionate about this because I live this. This is why I go so hard for this now. Love your brothers. Love. We already know what love means. Agapeo. Right? to welcome, entertain, to be fond of, to love dearly, to be well-pleased or contented at or with a thing. Like I said, people have done me wrong, people that I love very much. 
I still love them. And I will not hate them. I may not be around you in your proximity, but I won't lie and talk bad about you. I won't make up stuff. But I love you. Half the reason why I do is because that's just who I am right now. Because I'm in Christ. The other half is I want my stuff to live. I want my stuff to grow, to flourish, to thrive. If I, if I don't love my brother, I abide in death. Now, we, real quick, I'm going to wrap it up right now, right? But Paul let, every, let all of us know throughout all time that Alexander the Coppersmith is a dirty joker. He named names. I ain't named no names. And Paul was still without sin. We're going to end it right here. Again, if you like the music, you like the beats, get at my man Sun Chiefs. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell. You can follow me on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram. This is your man Fire Jaws. I love y'all. Peace out.